Charter House is such a hidden gem for Coventry, it holds so much history. We're back here today to look at some of the paintings and artwork this house has on. I'm here, in, I'm here in room 5 of Charter House, where we can see the painting which represents the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Unfortunately, half of the painting was destructed uh, due to changes and reconstructions made in Charter House. In the post dissolution period, the refectory was divided by adding the first and second floors and partial walls. To the east of the painting, St. Anne is teaching the Virgin to read. To the right is St. John the Evangelist, holding the book of his gospel. A 15th century knight represents the centurion in charge of the crucifixion. The painting dates back to the headship of Prior William Solon. This painting dates back to the 1570s, possibly when Robert Dudley, the Earl of Leicester, owned the building. Unfortunately, the painting has seen some water damage. It's also where the house has been faced construction over the years, it's also lost part of it. The, the religious theme is continued on the second floor in room 9. The painting notes the timber, love was added and fear to the of God. was placed when the second floor was added to the house around the 1570s. But as you can see, this doorway dates back to much older than that. It actually dates back to around 1381, as this was the doorway to one of the monk's cells. The amazing history provided in not only the house but the surrounding gardens is one of the many reasons why Charter House is so important to Coventry.